welcome to the project demonstration of pc control main detection robots so in this project we uh, interface uh, some sensors like lm35 for temperature detection high temperature detection and next obstacle detection purpose sr04 ultrasonic sensor and passive infrared sensor to detect the person so whenever a person detects it will provide the buzzer indication and if is there any obstacle detects that will be identified by this sr04 ultrasonic sensor and parallelly when uh, the particular obstacle is less than 30 cm then a uno board will on the buzzer as well as if is in high temperature detects then uh, we set the limit for 48 degrees centigrade so when it is above 48 degrees centigrade again we will get the same audible alerts along with this uh, audible alerts the system is keep on sending the data to the laptop with the help of zigbee module so here we interface a zigbee module and also we can control this robots from the laptop from the like by uh, sending the commands uh, to control the direction of this robots forward backward left right and uh, the next final feature is uh, video streaming so with the help of this esp32 camera we will get the live streaming and that can be monitored on a mobile phone in the google chrome by calling the respective ip address directly so here we have interfaced the ultrasonic sensor temperature sensor pir sensor to the uno board at the respective pins ultrasonic 2 and 3 temperature a0 and fourth pin for the pir sensor so they are the main input along with that zigbee is there so we have interfaced this zigbee module to the pin number 0 and 1 so that is for wireless communication purpose and the next buzzer to get the audible alerts which is connected at 13th pin and we have interfaced the two dc motors which are attached to this robot movement so that is to the l293d motor driver and which was interfaced at pin number 8 9 10 11 11. so the main purpose of this l293d motor driver is we can control the robots in four directions along with the stop condition so each l293d motor driver can control two dc motors those two dc motors attached to the robots at the back side here so if this is this is the front side for the robots and the whole system driven by the 12 volt 2 amp battery so here we can see two battery packs each battery pack consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series and these 3 and series these two are in parallel so that we will get 12 volt 2 amps of power and which is a rechargeable battery so in order to recharge that battery so this is a charging circuits we need to connect the b at this b slots battery at this b slots and then you can provide the 230 volts input to this plug so once we switch on the power supply there is a light indication on the charger that's indicated as battery is charging so it will be fully charged in a duration of 8 hours minimum 10 to 12 hours maximum so after that automatically the charging stops and you can disconnect the battery and you can switch off the charger so while doing not doing the charger if is there any transformer getting heat up then no need to worry about that and the next let us see the demonstration before switching on uh, the project kit just we need to install the one application in your mobile phone so that is a network analyzer so this is the network analyzer application from the play store we need to install that and after that go to hotspot settings of your phone change the hotspot name to project 5150 So configure the hotspot is 5150 and password 129 done. So once you change the password and the hotspot name, switch on the hotspots. And the next is we need to install one application in our laptop to control the robot directions. So that is PL2303 because we are going to interface this Zigbee module to the laptop. through this usb to ttl converter so there we are going to uh, provide one application is pl2303 just you need to install this so then it asks for insert the pl2303 now insert this to the laptop at any usb slot Right. After inserting that, 
you can now cancel continue so last for the restart no don't do restart right and after go to this pc manage these steps are to get the com communication number of this or ul2303 right ul2303 we got the com number is 4 note on this com number so here this uh, will changes when the windows auto updates so then you need to right click on that if it doesn't show the com number update driver browse my computer driver let me pick the list so there you can select 2000 h so there will be a uh, there the system will show you the two options 2008 and 2011 go to the 2008 h and go on next so as of now not on the com number and then go to the hyper terminal folder there we get one landline icon app so click on that so here you can type anything and the com number is going to be the same which we got from the device manager right restore defaults type any name select com number and restore defaults so now the system is ready to control the robot so now we can switch on this switch right so the system is start sending sending the parameters like distance of the obstacle sensor temperature and intruder so as we are in front of this pr sensor so it's spreading the intruder alert so you can check the distance is decreasing so when it is below 35 40 cm then automatically it will provide the obstacle alert so for uh, stop beeping about the pr sensor just we need to cover up the pr sensor module then it won't get the malfunctioning alerts and then for live streaming purpose see we can got the we got the esp32 camera attached so note down this ip address if some mobile phones uh, doesn't show this then you need to go to the network analyzer application to check get the ip address of our esp8266 so esp32 camera so note down this 192.168.43.177 and uh, now go to the chrome right now enter the same ip address which we got from the 168.43.177 i guess so then start so there we get the streaming of our robots so now we can control the robots so for control purpose click on this just enter f stop backward stop l stop right So we can get the visual alerts also, visual uh, like streaming on your mobile phone with help of ESP32 camera. As for stop and forward, stop, okay, backward, right. So in this manner we can control the robots. So within the Wi-Fi region, so within the Zigbee region, and also we can get the live streaming. in the wifi region right